Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney has pledged St. Lucia's support to Sister Isle, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Martinique amid seismic activity in the two countries. Honorable Chastney did so during an emergency meeting of the OECS Authority. The meeting was held virtually on December 31, 2020, under the chairmanship of Dr. the Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Dominica. The emergency session was convened to discuss the particular challenges experienced by St. Vincent and the Grenadines given the recent effusive eruptions at the last Soufriere, as well as the continued concerns of seismic activity from Mount Pele in Martinique. A three-member team from the University of the West Indies, UE Seismic Research Center, SRC, is in St. Vincent to monitor the volcanic activities, using additional equipment and continuing the support provided by the SRC. More support would be provided in the coming days. Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dr. the Honorable Ralph Gonzales, detailed the situation and the events which led to a subsequent elevation of the alert level from green to orange on Tuesday, the 29th December 2020. With this increase, increase in activity, we have moved the alert level to orange. When there's no activity, it's situation of green. When there's some, a little restlessness, you carry it to yellow. But now that there is an, an effusive oozing eruption taking place, we have to take the alert level up to to orange. This means that there is a, a higher elevated activity of heat and gas called fumarolic activity at the volcano and with a strong sulfur smell. And the effusive eruptions, as you heard from the Seismic Research Center, may continue. And it may end up as an explosive eruption, but in 2000, in 1971-72, in, in you had a similar oozing, and it just simply oozed and just quietened down, until, of course, in 1979, you had a, a big bang um, eruption. There has been no evacuation of residents thus far. However, OECS member states have pledged over 3,000 rooms for accommodation and would continue to assess their accommodation capacities should more rooms be needed as they remain on standby to assist if an evacuation is ordered. Hoping for the best but preparing for the worst. Member states also pledge support of personal, air, sea and land transportation among offers of practical assistance.